morning, church. Will you stand with us? Good morning, church. Thank you for joining. I know in the past I have this habit of talking about the weather, so I'm going to do the right thing and continue that because I'm a creature of habit. Hallelujah, it is sunny outside. Woo. For those of you like me that your skin has been underneath long sleeves or sweatshirts or have become a hermit crab inside, welcome back to sunburn. It is real. It is here. 
So, but on that note, I just am so excited for this change of season. And throughout right now, we're talking about this book of Job. And it, it, my immediate thought when I heard we were jo- doing Job right after Easter, I was like, huh, okay, that's an interesting choice. Go from this very exciting moment of Easter and then, oh, Job. All right, okay. But I'm learning to just appreciate it so much more. It's speaking really in, in my life in a lot of different ways of, I feel a lot like Job's friends, of just this honest, clear expectation of, Good things happen to me if I do good things. And bad things are only happening because I've done something wrong. And I've just been so, so incredibly confused in my life over and over of, I feel like I'm making the right efforts. I feel like I'm doing the things the Lord's called me to do and still end up feeling like it's not enough. And I've just so found so much peace in the reminder that no matter if we do everything perfect our whole life, it will never be enough for the Lord. But he willingly gives his love, his affection, his appreciation for us because he loves us not because of what we do. And I, I'm so overwhelmed some moments trying to set our family up for success, trying to move on to the next thing, doing whatever I can to excel at things. But I'm just a reminder of this good God that we believe in and that is so big. The same one who created everything that is has a handle over my life. So why am I trying to take that from him? So I'm preaching myself here as much as I'm saying anything, but let's, let's pray to our creator. Lord, we give you today. This today, this message full of the reminder of laments that sometimes our thoughts may not be pure our thoughts may be full of anger or resentment but God you're worthy of every one of those prayers God that you want our true and honest emotions towards you God I just pray for an open and honest heart to the people here in this room people on stage every one of us that call ourselves Christians and believers in you to be honest and open to you that we believe your spirit is in this room. We believe you're here to meet with us. So give us hearts of honesty and expectation. We love and praise you. Amen.
I don't have enough words. I'll never live enough lifetimes to fully know your worth, to know all that you deserve and all of my oppression, all of my duplicity. Now there is no record. You assume the best of me. And this is why I thank the Lord for loving me when I was weak. So I will sing. This is why I thank the Lord for everything. This is how I thank the Lord. All of my attention and everything I have to give. The sum of my attention is measured in the praise I live. And this is how I thank the Lord for everything. The will was weak, so I will sing. This is how I thank the Lord for everything. This is how I thank the Lord. And this is how I thank the Lord for saving me, for loving me, for everything. This is how I thank. of me and all of my deceptions and all of my duplicity now there is no record you assume the best of me and this is how I thank the Lord for loving me and keeping me so I will sing this is why I thank the Lord for everything this is why I thank the Lord and this is why I thank the Lord for loving me and keeping me so I can sing this is why I praise the Lord for everything this is why I thank the Lord oh father we do thank you we thank you for the way that you love us Lord, prepare our hearts this morning as we continue in the Job series. Um, we just ask that you just speak through Pastor Brian this morning, Lord God, and open our hearts up, Lord, to 
to the gift of lament. Lord, there's some heavy things that many of us are going through or, or there are things ahead that some of us will go through. But you are God. You are God in it all. You are greater than anything on this earth. And so we thank you, Lord. We thank you and we praise you that no matter the circumstances, even when we're on the mountaintop and things are good, I pray, Lord God, that there would be an urgency that we would thank you and we would praise you like we do when we're in the valley. We give you all praise and all glory today, Lord God. In Jesus' name, amen. You may be seated. As we close our service today, um, first service when I was sending him the message and just pondering over. This last song we're going to sing is called Worthy of My Song, and it's usually a happier one we sing after a holiday or um, maybe more of a cheerful message. But um, I just encourage you in this moment, Maybe this is your time for lament. I know for me, it's easy to say in church, I'm like, all right, I'm going to go home and do that. But for those of you like me, maybe this is that time. Um, but otherwise, for the rest of us, will you stand? We'll sing this together. But I just want to recognize that our, our praises to him, he is worthy of those. But he is as much worthy of our every thought, our emotions, our things that we think we can keep to ourselves. He longs for that. He longs for that honest closeness. So I just pray you uh, spend this time in this, in this song, in that heart. starts changing Oh, I'm gonna worship Till I mean every word Cause the way I feel And the fear I'm facing Doesn't change who you are Or what you deserve I give you my worship you still deserve it. You're worthy. You're worthy. You're worthy of my soul. I pour out your praises and blessing and break it. You're worthy. You're worthy. You're worthy of my soul. Oh, you are Lord. My King is risen Gonna preach to my soul That you've already won And even though I can't see it I'm gonna keep believing That every promise you made Is as good as good I give you my worship still deserve it. You're worthy. You're worthy. You're worthy of my soul. I'll pour out your praises and bless it and break it. You're worthy. You're worthy. My song of grief and pain, you were worthy. When I thought I lost my way, you were worthy. And 
every season of my life you're worthy i'll never stop singing your praise oh i'll never stop singing your praise in your blessing and the pain you're Stop singing your praise. Oh, I'll never stop singing your praise. I'll never stop singing. Oh, I'll never stop. I'll never stop singing. Jesus, Lord, you listen in on us. You don't care what we say, you can take it. The beautiful analogy of the waves crashing on the rocks, the rocks don't move. And Lord, we thank you that you do not move. Thank you, Jesus. Well, this is the end of our service we have for you. I want to invite you guys as we continue every single week. We're going to have people up here in front. A lot of us on the stage are going to come down and be a part of this. Um, and we just want to invite you, whether that's something you want to do or if, um, no matter what your week looks like, I, I encourage you to take some time this week and truly meet with our Lord. Like I said, he, he longs for that closeness. He longs for those laments. So I just pray that um, whether it's through our prayer team or through whatever happens this week, we just pray that you meet with our Lord. All right, have a good week.